Hi, my name is Dr. Darren Schmidt. I've been using supplements and food for 30 years to actually heal the body so you don't have to take drugs. Today, I'm going to show you some interesting toys I've been dealing with, and these are these watches right here. So these are both smart watches. This is the Garmin, and this is from KohlerHealth.com, K-O-A-L-A-R Health.com. So a lot of people have the Garmin, and it's got some really cool features that I really like. One is um, just a stress level. And so when it shows resting, it's blue. And when it shows um, mild, moderate, or high stress, it turns more orange and red. It also measures your body battery, which is how much energy you have when you wake up in the morning, and then how it goes down during the day, and you wake up in the morning again, It's now it's back up. It also measures respiration and pulse and oxygen saturation in your blood. It'll measure your steps. And regarding sleep, it'll give you how many hours you slept, and how much REM sleep you had, how much light sleep, how much deep sleep, and how restless you were you were during the night, and if you woke up. And it's pretty sophisticated, but sometimes if I sleep eight hours, it'll tell me that I slept nine. So it can be off by an, even an hour or two, but it'll give you a score, and then I can tell the difference. Like if I have a really good sleep score, then my body battery is higher in the morning, and I feel good compared to other nights I have a poor sleep, and low score, score, and the body battery is low, and I wake up, I don't feel so good. So then when you're seeing this information, then you try to figure out, well, how do I sleep better? What do I have to do? Are there foods I have to avoid? Um, not eat before I sleep, not exercise before I sleep, that kind of stuff. So this has been very helpful. Now I got this at Thanksgiving, at the end of November, 2023, and here it is two months later, and I figured out a lot of problems that I didn't know I had. So for example, I saw that after eating, my stress level went significantly high for many hours afterwards, and it shouldn't be like that. And you can go on Reddit and you can search Garmin, why is my stress level high after eating or something like that. And what I figured out was that I actually have Invisalign and I got that over a year ago and it straightened up my teeth in the front, but after it did that, then I couldn't chew. So I can close my mouth and these contact in the front, but I can stick my tongue between my molars on either side. And it's been one heck of a year when you can't digest your food, then your stomach uh, doesn't feel so good. Your legs get weak. Your heart can start racing. You get some heartburn. Um, I didn't know what was happening. I just felt weird all of 2023. So beginning in February, um, I, you know, what I was doing was inhaling large chunks of meat. And I've been on the carnivore diet for five years, and my diet is 90 to 95% meat. I realized that I was having a hard time with hamburger patties. I was doing better with steak and stew meat. And there's no way I can eat lettuce. There's no way I can eat carrots. I almost choked on a carrot once because I can't chew it. So I started eating really slowly and chewing very uh, conscientiously. And it actually worked better. And I can tell with how I felt and my watch showed that I was doing better. So I realized there's a lot of people who they can't digest their food very well. Maybe they don't chew well. Maybe their stomach is low acid. Maybe their gallbladder is congested and they don't have good bile to digest fats. They could have leaky gut. They could have intestinal parasites. There's all kinds of reasons why you can't digest your food. And that alone can destroy your body. And, you know, we've known this logically for a long time. But I personally experienced this, and now I have more compassion for people who have these digestive issues. You know, and I've been treating these people for a long, long time, 30, you know, 25 years. But now that I've been through it, I really, I really understand it. So, so it's kind of a big deal if you're missing teeth, if you have a hole in your teeth, or if you have dentures. I mean, that's step one for digesting your food. But you can have a trouble with your pancreas, gobbler, liver, you know, uh, stomach, small intestine, large intestine. And if anything is goes wrong, you can have symptoms from head to toe. So I primarily had weak muscles. And I told my dentist, I don't know what this Invisalign is doing to me, but I suck at the gym. And I'm having a hard time, you know, maintaining and putting on muscle. And I told her, I think my face is dropping down. Like I'm losing muscle tone in my face. And she just dismissed everything. And she, and then later, after I got the watch, I told her, I can't chew my, chew my food. She goes, well, just eat protein powder. I was about ready to smack her. And she also, I'm just joking, not really, but she also, when we first started the Invisalign, she told me I'd be done in five months. 
that was a year and a half ago. And I have another half, half a year to go. So she lied to me at the beginning. And I have a friend. She's got a tooth that's kind of uh, crooked in the front. And she talked to her dentist about it. And her dentist said, you'll be done in five months. So don't let a dentist lie to you. Make sure you have a complete uh, prognosis on your uh, Invisalign care. Okay, so that's a whole other story. I was going to make another video about that, but there you just got the information right there. Now, so I'm a big fan of the Garmin. Now, this one is the fancy one with the GPS. So if I, if I run a 5K or if I go biking, it'll track me. And indoor biking, indoor swimming, outdoor swimming, all kinds of exercise is tracked on this, respirations and pulse and all that stuff. So this one was like 400 bucks. But you can get a cheaper one for 150 just with the basics with your uh, body battery and your sleep and your stress. Like those are the three most important measurements on this. So I'm gonna say it again, body battery, sleep and stress level on this Garmin. Now this one from Kohler Health, this is cool because it measures blood pressure and blood glucose. And it's got the um, little lights that emit on the other side of the face and it goes into your skin and it'll, I don't know how it does it now. And I've tracked how, um, accurate is it? And I tracked it with my wrist cuff at, regarding blood pressure, and it's actually very accurate, which I'm very happy about. I'm actually surprised about that, but it's actually quite accurate. And then I tracked it with the um, Keto Mojo blood glucose monitor, and the watch is not very accurate with blood glucose. I've seen it off by four points, and I've seen it off by 30 points. But the point is, you can get the trend. So you can see your blood glucose going up and then down you know, after you eat and if you fast, and I've had mine down into the, you know, uh, 70s, and then I've had it up into the 140s, and I can know that it was pretty much correct, at least with the trend, because of what I ate. So this is really good for anybody with, uh, you know, diabetes or trying to lose weight and um, blood pressure problems, and that way you can see exactly maybe what happened three hours ago that made your glucose or your blood pressure go up. Let me give you a couple of stories about this from my own personal experience. Two days ago, I was at the mall and I was at Eddie Bauer putting on jackets and I felt good. And um, about 20 minutes after, I felt really, really bad. Long story short, I told my girlfriend, who also does nutrition like I do, and I said, I don't know what's happening. I feel really bad right now. Like my legs are weak, my heart's pounding. I got like digestive, weird digestive symptoms going on. And she goes, oh, maybe something happened to Eddie Bauer. And I was like, oh, wow. So let's, we went back and I tried on some more jackets and I'm watching my, my, uh, my watches. I was wearing both watches and paying attention to how I felt. And then it all came back, the pounding heart and the weak legs. And it was the clothing. Now, this might have happened with any clothing store. You can't just blame Eddie Bauer. But if you buy clothes, go ahead and wash it at home and then you should be fine because it's going to be chemicals from manufacturing or maybe shipping and all the clothes will have that. So just wash the clothes be before you put them on. But now a lot of people think that anxiety or pounding heart or this nervousness that I felt would be emotional. And you talk to a psychologist and they'll say, well, what were you thinking about at the time? Was it about your mom? What about your, you know, no, no, no. It was the chemicals that were in the clothing. So I think a lot of anxiety, um, difficulty breathing, those emotional stress reactions people get, I think there's biochemistry behind that. Now you can have a stressful moment and then you get all those reactions coming back because you already have the toxins in your body. My toxins happen to be the mycotoxins from toxic mold, which I was in a moldy office for 13 years. So I've detoxed a lot, but I'm still susceptible to uh, uh, being sensitive to chemicals, as I discovered two days ago at Eddie Bauer. So another example of how this has helped me out was um, on New Year's Eve, by this time, okay, I got the, the Garmin Thanksgiving, and during Thanksgiving to New Year's Eve, I figured I needed, I needed to chew better. So New Year's Eve, I had a steak dinner, and my watch was telling me everything is good, and I felt good. And then at 10.15, somebody brought out the chocolate lava cake, and it had four or five bites. And this measures your um, pulse every three minutes. So I'm telling you, within 
three minutes, <laughs> the orange bars started, you know, coming up. It wasn't blue anymore. It wasn't rest. It was low and medium stress. But here's the deal. It happened all night long. And my sleep score in the morning was horrible. And you could tell that my heart was pounding all night because the watch told me. And, you know, for like maybe five hours or maybe longer. So the watch told me like this chocolate lava cake. Yeah, you could feel bad between 10, 15 and 11 or whenever you go to bed. But it's actually harming your body for hours after that. So that was a huge like realization for me. So if you go on Reddit and you search Garmin, people talk about how they're trying to get their health better and they're avoiding all food past 7 p.m. and no alcohol past 6 p.m. and they don't exercise before bedtime and they're doing all these things to improve their health. The Garmin also actually measures VO2 max, so how good is your lung capacity, so that's been great. Now, this is $400, the one that I have, but if you get the cheaper version, maybe 150 bucks, 200 bucks or whatever, it's, you get the basics information. You don't have the GPS. This one's got GPS to follow me where I go if I'm like running or biking. So as I talk about this with my patients, people are gravitating towards the Kohler Health because it measures blood pressure and blood glucose. And that way you don't have to stick your finger with the dreaded needle on the side of your finger. Now it doesn't measure ketones. So if you need to measure ketones, keep using the, the Keto Mojo. But like I said, it's been super accurate and I'm very happy about the blood pressure monitoring on this watch. You just have to make sure that it's tight on your wrist and it'll measure it automatically every 30 minutes. And then at any point you can tap on it um, and get the watch face going and you can scroll through and you can make it uh, check your glucose, your blood pressure, your heart rate at any time. It also has an EKG capability so you turn on the EKG part, which is it's on right now, and then I just hold my finger at the bottom of the watch right there. At the same time, have the app open on the phone, and there's the EKG. Uh, you can't really see it. I'm not going to... But it's got these lines going up and down. It measures your blood pressure, pulse, and heart rate variability. And then you get that idea, like, how's your heart doing with the EKG? For 90 bucks. This is 90 bucks straight from China when you order it. So the app on the phone is easy to use. And, and there's the Garmin. You can see blue versus orange. And the blue is rest and the orange is activity. There's my body battery. You can see that it goes up when it, during the morning time. And then I wake up and then it starts to go down as the day goes on. It gives me a score right now of 34. And I think when I started, I was at 80. And this is my sleep factors. Um, my score last night was 81. You can see all that pink right there. That's REM sleep. The light blue is light sleep and the dark blue is deep sleep. It'll give you your stress levels and respirations and all those factors over the course of one day, seven days, four weeks, and one year. So you can track your progress as you're improving your health. And that's the whole point of these watches. You can get real-time information and you don't have to poke your skin and you don't have to pull out the blood pressure cuff. I was testing somebody. I had her wearing the um, Kohler watch, which measures blood pressure. And it was checking your blood pressure. It was nice and low. It was like, you know, 115 over 75 or whatever. I don't know what it, it was. Nice and low. And then I said, let's test it on this. And I brought this out, the wrist cuff. And the, her blood pressure starts climbing up on the watch. And she's like, no, that's not a good idea. I get all anxious with the wrist cuff. A lot of people do. Or the, you know, the arm cuff. You're at the doctor's office and your blood pressure is sky high because you're anxious because you're at the doctor's office. And here comes this test and it doesn't give you a good uh, measurement because you're anxious about the test. But if you just wear this all day, it'll measure it automatically every 30 minutes. And there's no anxiety about this and it's awesome. Okay, that's all I have to say about these smartwatches. I've abandoned all my other watches that I've been collecting and maybe I already have the Apple Watch or a Fitbit or an Aura Ring. But utilize these. I know I've talked to a lot of people who they have these devices and they don't use them. They're sitting in a drawer somewhere. But you should use them and use them to improve your health, improve your sleep, improve your energy, and improve your diet. So if your body's reacting negatively to certain foods because um, you're allergic to them, you can't digest them very well, whatever, you got to figure this out so that you have as much rest as possible. 
And then when you're exercising, your activity level goes much higher and greater. You have uh, better capability of recovery, greater VO2 max, and um, then you live longer. That's the whole point. Put in the comments below what kind of device that you have that you've been using and give us your results with that. Thank you.